In this video we are going to make some beautiful key fobs. The materials we are going to need are some fabric, some fleece fabric, then the key fob hardware and some pliers. And my key fob hardware is one inch wide so I'm going to make my fabric 12 inches long and two and a half inches wide so I'm ending up with a quarter inch seam allowance when I'm sewing it all together and I'm going to use some of my favorite Farben Mix Vib Band, <laughs> the ribbon. And here it is. I'm going to start off by pinning the ribbon to the fabric. You can make it with the ribbon or without the ribbon. I think it looks really, really nice without the ribbon as well. And you could, instead of using all these layers of fabric, you could also just use some thick felt. The old key fob that I'm still using is made from thick felt fabric and that lasts really really well. It's actually still really good and it still looks new. It's about five or six years old but I felt like doing something new and <laughs> filming a little tutorial while I'm at it. So I'm just going to sew the ribbon to the fabric and now I'm going to pin the fabric to the fleece fabric. We're going to need some fleece just to make it a little bit thicker so it sticks inside the key fob hardware the clamps I don't know what they're called let me know in the comments and now I'm just going to baste it all around the edges so that the two layers of fabric are not going to slip once I'm assembling everything and now I'm going to fold everything in the middle and I'm going to pin it together or clip it together with my wonder clips here. There we go. And then I'm going to sew it together with a quarter inch seam allowance because that's what I cut the fabric strip to. You can make the seam allowance bigger or smaller depending on how wide you clip the fabric. Just uh, cut the fabric just as long as you end up with a one inch wide strip of fabric in the end. Just closing the side seam here. And then we're going to turn it inside out with the turning tool. It's a little bit tricky because it's so many layers of fabric, but we can do it. Well, it is a little bit tricky, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. But eventually we are going to turn it inside out. There we are. Just pulling out the ends and now I can press the fabric from the other side so we're not damaging the ribbon. Little red, red, little red riding hood is so cute. Bit of a tongue twister, little red riding hood. No, it's not really, is it? Okay, there we are. Now I can clip the ends, just cut off the ends to make it a little bit more even so it fits nicely into the buckle or whatever it is called I have no idea let me know in the comments <laughs> just stick it in there and now I'm going to use some fleece fabric to cover the key fob thingy here so I'm not damaging it while I'm pressing it together with my pliers now I'm using the pliers and I'm pressing from the top and then from both sides and I'm pushing and I'm really really pressing down hard so that it all stays nice and in place. As I said, my old key fobs, they last me for five years and nothing ever came apart, so it's really, really good. And here we are. That's the first one. Of course, I couldn't help myself and I had to make many, many more, so <laughs> here are some variations. You can make shorter ones, longer ones, with ribbon, without ribbon. And of course, I'm going to pick the purple one with the pink sequins because that's how I roll, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what kind of fabric and ribbons you are going to use for this project. Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you want to support me, you can purchase my patterns on my website. The link is down below in the video description. See you next time. Bye.